Hey guys, Cigar Buff here, coming at you with another video. Don't mind the sandpaper and stuff in the background. You'll know why it's there in one sec. As you know, lately, well, you might not know, you might not have seen that video. I bought a Nighthawk Custom Hammer, used one, for my 1911 off of Outwood Apps, and uh, it was blued, unfortunately, and you know my 1911 is polished. If you don't, there's half of it right there. <laughs> So, in the past, this has worked phenomenally for me. To remove bluing, I always give it a light sand because it's easier. So, as you can see, you know, there's a lot of bluing left, but I give it a light sand and some of the places are gone. But what I've used in the past is A, my ultrasonic cleaner, the hammer. And as you can see, it's empty. The reason for that is that's what we're putting in it right there pure white vinegar. Stuff's really cheap. Four liters or one gallon is like, I think I pick this up for a dollar. <laughs> Anyways, I can't take credit for this. I found this online. So I'm just gonna fill it to the point where it covers the hammer, which is not much. There we go, covered. So, you will see, uh, for this part, remember this does up to eight minutes at a time. For this part, it might take 8 or 16, I'm not sure, but uh, we'll see, and uh, remember the before, we're going to show you the after in 8 minutes, see how it looks. Okay guys, this might be noisy, but I wanted to show you this, that's not, my, that's not me moving it, that's the ultrasonic. I don't know if you can see... Got a great macro to it. Obviously, not the movement, but the little, little black papers coming off of it, if you will. That's the bluing. It's actually coming right off the hammer. If I could keep it in the freaking frame, sorry. Uh, anyways, we'll do a little time lapse here. Not really time lapse because I can't hold it for that long, but uh, I'll show you maybe every two, three minutes what it looks like. So here's just started 10, 20 seconds in. Hey guys. I decided to throw in my cushion as well. I forgot to do that last time. So we're going to see how that works. The vinegar is a little low for the bushing, but I'm going to top it up and see how that works. Alright guys, we're four minutes in. I don't know if you can see. The hammer's a little less. Not crazy, crazy. But the bushing is kind of turning white, if you will. Hold on one second. There we go. See that? That's it working. That's it actually removing the bleed. So we'll come back in a little bit and we'll see how it works. Hey guys, we're two minutes out. And uh, I don't know if you can see it, but the hammer's doing real, real good. The bushing's doing pretty good too. So we only might need one cycle. We'll see. We might go down for now. Alright guys, we've got about 10 seconds left here. And the hammer's looking real good. Bushing's coming along. The bushing's definitely going to need another cycle. There we go. And, uh, works pretty good. So, let's check it out here. So, you remember the bluing. Check that out. It's pretty much all gone. Now, the grooves might need a little. Well, no, they did pretty good, too. How about the backside? Yep. This is ready for sanding and polishing, guys. Look at that. It did a great job. I might put it in for a couple more minutes. The bushing's definitely going to need a little more, but we put in the bushing late anyways. But the bushing's not that far along, let me tell you. It's doing a good job too. So, we'll slap her on. It's not going to hurt. The vinegar's in here already, I mean. And we'll come back after 8 minutes. Guys, here are the parts fresh out of the cleaner. Now, I know they look black, but they're not. Trust me. Just coming up that way on video, they're just raw metal. All bluing is gone. So now with a little bit of TLC, some sandpaper and stuff, it'll be good. And there's my phone. <laughs> See ya. Okay, guys. So this is what it looks like just after 600 grit. Uh, it's coming along quite good, uh, to tell you the truth. And uh, I'll show you what it looks like after 1,000. Okay, guys. Well, that's after 1,000. It's getting a little bit of a sheen to it. Don't worry about the inside of that bushy. I'm going to take care of that. Next, 1,500. Okay guys, this is after 1500, as you can see it's starting to build a sheen. All those scratches will come out, don't worry. I oh, know you're not worrying, but I mean, 
Anyways, on to 2000, and then uh, time for the secret ingredient, Mother's Polish. See you soon. Alright guys, well, we're done with the 2000. Uh, most of the fine scratches have come out. Not all of them, but it's pretty shiny right now. And we'll go to the Mother's Polish and see how it works. Okay guys, here's after the first one. First application, what do you guys think? I think it came out pretty sweet. Remember, it's not going to be perfect, you know. If it's going to be perfect, buy one. And a lot of you guys might say that. Well, Cigar Buff, why aren't you just buying one? It's a lot less work. Yeah, you're right. It's no fun that way to me. I enjoy working on guns. Uh, I enjoy it a lot. So, I mean, as you can see, most of the scratches came out there. Well, not really. Huh. I might have to sand those again. Not a big deal. You don't see that part anyway. Uh, and it's really baby bum smooth here, so... Anyways, make a long story short, I'm going to do another one, put it on the gun, show you how it looks. Guys, right, so there you go. She's done. Came out pretty good. The fine scratches, I might get rid of, I might not. I don't really care. Uh, just looks good, you know. Fits a gun now. Bushing came out wicked. The guide rod's black still. I don't know if I'll mess with that. But the bushing came out really good as well. Anyways, that's it, guys.